I'm Namrata Parohit and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Pilates as well as show you a few Pilates exercises that you can do on the mat. So what is Pilates? Pilates was started by a man called Joseph Pilates for men at war. Then it was transformed for ballet and contemporary dancers. So what I like to say is that when you're doing Pilates, you're going to get the strength of the warrior but a lean, long, flexible body of a dancer. So really, you get the benefits of both worlds. Pilates works on strength, endurance, um, flexibility, balance, coordination, concentration, all aspects of fitness. It's a very holistic approach to fitness. In today's day and age, I would say Pilates is extremely important because it is a mind and body form of exercise. So while you're working the entire body, you're also working on the mind which is very, very important. It makes you focus on your breathing. It makes you focus on your core, which is the powerhouse of your body. All these things put together make Pilates an extremely efficient and important form of exercise. So you must try it out. While Pilates, of course, can be done on a mat, which I'll be showing you in just a bit, but it can also be done on specialized Pilates equipment like the reformer, Cadillac, chair, ladder barrel, which really can challenge you to make you work really hard or it can support you so that it can help you get to your ultimate goal. It is a very customized form of exercise that looks at the body as a whole and works on every individual's needs, goals, body types and even maybe injuries or for rehab, it is excellent. So let me show you a little glimpse into Pilates on the Pilates mat. So a very simple exercise that you can do, I'm just going to show it to you quickly so that we can do more exercises, yeah? So one is called the elbow squeeze, hands up at shoulder height. You exhale, squeeze your elbows and hands together. Inhale, release. Okay, so it's exhale to squeeze, keep your core engaged. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. You do this about 15 to 20 times, then you stay there. Release the elbows just slightly and squeeze as hard as you can. I shouldn't be able to take your elbows apart. Release and squeeze out and in again you do these 15 to 20 times then you stay there and pulse up and down and that's really going to get your shoulders back chest biceps all of it working it's a really quick efficient exercise that you can even do while sitting on your desk another really good exercise for the back and for posture is called the chair so you stand with your feet hip distance apart you push your hips back, get your arms overhead and then just squeeze up and down, keeping your core engaged again, neck in line with the spine, so don't look up, don't look down and just squeeze. So walking, working on your postural muscles, really good exercise for the back. Then from there, the next exercise I'm going to show you is a sumo squat, a simple sumo squat, okay? But we're going to add calf raises. So after you do about 15 to 20 sumo squats, you stay there, lift one heel up and bring it back down. Then the other side, two, three, exhale when you lift. Now when you do this, I don't want your whole body going up and down, just the leg. Then from there, both legs together. <laughs> so you do 20 reps of that, 20 reps, both legs together. You're going to feel those inner thighs working, the quadriceps working, just working the entire body in just one exercise. Okay, now from there, another one I'm going to show you is the inchworm, which you probably know. So you walk out, okay, and then you walk back up. It's called the inchworm. If you can keep your legs straight, that's great. If you can't, you can bend into it and then walk back up. So again, you're engaging the entire body. You're going to work the core. After about 15 to 20 repetitions, you stay down. And I want you to come down into a breaststroke prep because I'm again going to show you something that's going to work your postural muscles because a lot of us have been sitting at home quite a bit so it's really good for us. Keep your elbows bent in line with your shoulders and just squeeze, it's the W. So you just squeeze your shoulders up and down. Nose is hovering, so look down. And release. Then hands on your shoulder, we go into the breaststroke prep. You press into your hands, come up into an extension, exhale down. Elbows stay on the ground. Inhale up, exhale down. 
And now, if this is comfortable for you, press into it, come up into full extension, and come back down. That's the swan dive prep. You do it three to five times. Last one I'm going to show you is a plank variation. So you come into a plank, knees off, and alternate knee taps. Alternate knee taps. Slowly, keeping your core engaged, trying not to rock the body. So tap one knee down and up. And release. Again, you do 20 repetitions of these and you really feel those abs working. So I showed you just a little glimpse into the world of Pilates. On the mat, you can do over, I would say 500, 600 different exercises and variations. On the equipment, like one piece of equipment alone, which is the reformer, for example, you can do over 2000 different exercises and variation. So it's really a never ending world of exercises and you know, things you can do on it. Now, before I say bid adieu to you, what I'd like to tell you is, you know, when you're working out, never think of doing a lot. Think of training smart. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. So focus on your form, do the best that you can, give yourself rest days, recovery days, because that is when your body transforms, that is when your body recovers and you'll actually see the changes. So train smart, don't be harsh on yourself. And don't judge yourself and at the end of the day always remember to kiss which is keep it safe simple and smart